There's this strange preoccupation with trying to figure out what the one thing out of an unlimited amount you're going to choose as your endeavor of choice forever. And if you haven't figured it out by certain stages of life, the pressure and the expectations start to generate a new feeling, a feeling of having fallen behind in life. In our era of social media, everybody knows that no one's carefully curated feeds reflects that person's real life. The aptly chosen word highlight reel reflects how society has succumbed to this. It's an illusion that we buy into with an unhealthy dose of cognitive dissonance because we know it's not real, but we compare ourselves to it anyway. Our world measures success-based milestones based on productivity and the accumulation of wealth rather than on happiness, on how a person feels on a day-to-day -day basis. When a human is encouraged to master one specialty, they're more likely to succeed in the short term and possibly even make good money. But they're also more likely to make poor choices, have low adaptability and report low satisfaction with life in the long term. Yet this is the life path that we've all been taught to glamorize. When these people inevitably make a shift towards happiness, they almost always end up with low income as they move away from their specialty. Inversely, when we encourage humans to take their time and explore multiple interests, they are less equipped in the short term, but much better off in the long term because they've mastered adaptability and have accumulated a wider spectrum of knowledge. They make better choices, better income, and report a higher satisfaction with life. The argument here is that spending your early adulthood and your 20s exploring multiple interests and career choices is how a human is meant to develop their adulthood. Consequently, it also comes with feeling behind in life because those who are on the specialty trajectory are currently doing really well financially. Even those who are reaping the rewards of having chosen a specialty right now are looking at those even higher than them and also feeling behind. Or they're looking at those who are still figuring it out and longing for their adventure and freedom. The point here is that both people in both camps are going to feel behind in life. Life can't be predicted or calculated because it's not linear. Whether you focus on one specialty or not, in the end, your choices change and become closer to what would bring you more happiness anyway. You might be feeling behind in life right now because it looks like everyone else has it together. But remember, you're only receiving their highlight reel. They started with a different set of cards and life isn't linear. What allows you to take the next step isn't necessarily the last thing you did. It could be something you did 10 years ago, a few months ago, or last week. If you're watching this, it's because you're questioning the choices you made in life, whether you've spent the majority of your working life on one specialty, or if like me, you've started and ended multiple. The point is that throughout your life, you're going to shift from one trajectory to another. Every choice you've made, even the blatantly bad ones, were the best decisions you could have made given all of the information you had at that time. There's a quote that goes, it's not uncommon for people to spend their whole life waiting to start living. If that's you, you're waiting for the right path to fall in your lap. You're waiting for some life-changing information to make all the difference without realizing that you're actually already on your path. And there is no right path. There is no secret trajectory that you need to find that's going to give you the best, most optimized life. Your only job in this life is to follow what you love. You're not behind in life. You're just romanticizing the highlight reel of somebody else's. Life is a choose your own adventure game. And right now, you're actually winning.